Podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV. Benjamin Long IV is a renowned portrait painter and master in the art of fresco. He grew up in Statesville, but has left his mark across seven counties in North Carolina in the form of 11 frescoes. To share these unique works of art with the public, the Benjamin Long Fresco Trail was developed. Producer Derek Long decided to travel the fresco trail and brings us part one of his remarkable journey. The Ben Long Fresco Trail is not a trail, but a guide to the frescoes in North Carolina. My first stop on the Fresco Trail, Statesville. He grew up in Statesville. He went to Statesville High School. We sort of gave him carte blanche to produce for us in his hometown what, what he thought would be best, and we, we think it's a masterpiece. The theme from the Statesville Fresco is the crossroads. And not only because it's a crossroads where interstates cross, but it was at a time in its history where it was at a crossroads. The central figure in the fresco is Hecate, the three-headed woman, and she's the goddess of the crossroads. Interestingly, she's also the witch of the underworld. I'll bet that created a stir. We had robust discussion about that and decided that it was a piece of art that should be shared with the community and the world, and it has survived the test of time. Like many artists, Ben uses family, friends, and locals as models for the figures in his frescoes. There's an elderly white-haired woman in there with her back to us, and that's Ben's grandmother. And he always puts himself in there. He tells us that he's the bust of the Confederate soldier that's over in the corner. Different people will interpret the different parts of the fresco in different ways. As our own lives change, our view of the fresco may change as well. My next stop, St. Paul's Episcopal Church, Wilkesboro. Beautiful church built in 1848. And it was obvious with it being St. Paul's Episcopal Church that we would choose the Apostle Paul. One panel depicts Paul's conversion on the road to Damascus. The number one thing that draws attention on the conversion experience, obviously, is the horse and how it has thrown Paul off. But I think if people would look at Paul's eyes, they can really see the fear and the questioning of what has happened to me. And the other panel shows Paul writing letters from prison and persecution. From Wilkesboro, it's just a pleasant drive up the mountain to Ash County. And that's where the story of the fresco starts. The minister of the church met Ben Long. Ben at that time had been beautifully trained in fresco painting. And he had returned to this country from Italy but nobody knew about him uh, and his art. And if he was going to make it in art, he needed some frescoes that people could see. And so he came to this minister, uh, the Reverend Fulton Hodge, and asked him if he could paint a fresco in St. Mary's Church. And even before he was finished, people started coming in the hundreds uh, to see these magnificent paintings. Mary, great with child, was the first Ben Long fresco done in 1974. The picture of St. Mary's uh, herself uh, is, is very unusual because here she's dressed like a peasant woman, which she was, and it has proven to be a little controversial. People don't like to see a pregnant Mary. There is a picture of uh, John the Baptist looking as he would in the wilds with a with a cloak of skin and the very magnificent and central figure of Christ on the cross, which represents more than just the crucifixion. There are other symbols in the picture that come to recognize not only his death, uh, but his resurrection and ascension. At the Holy Trinity Episcopal Church in Glendale Springs, Ben blends art and architecture so that as you enter the church, you feel like there is a table full of men eating dinner at the end of the church. It's amazing uh, not only the detail of, of Ben Long's work, but the things that he puts into the picture himself, which bring an, an aura of uh, uh, some mystery. The empty stool at the table represents perhaps the painting's overriding message. You'll notice that it's very central, it's a focal point in the picture, 
and it beckons to all the viewers, the congregation and people that visit, that there is a place set at the table and it beckons you to come. This is Derek Long for North Carolina Weekend. Next week, the Fresco's themes take some dramatic turns in Mecklenburg County as producer Derek Long follows the trail to Charlotte. For more information about the Fresco's and to download your trail guide brochure, go online to benlongfrescotrail.com. Podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV.